everybody and everybody ought to praise the Lord. Come on, give God some praise right where you are. Come on, give God some praise. Let's glorify him. Let's magnify him. Let's honor his holy name. Come on, everybody. Let's give God some praise right where you are, everybody. Come on. It's our Wednesday night Bible study. It's our hour of power, and we came to honor his holy name. We came to magnify him. We came to lift him up. We came to give him the glory. We came to give him the honor. I need everybody right where you are to give him some praise. Come on. Give him some glory. Come on. Give him some honor. Isn't he worthy, church? Isn't he worthy? Isn't he worthy to be praised? Isn't he worthy to be high and lifted up? Isn't he worthy to be exalted? I need everybody. You don't need an organ. You don't need uh, you don't need drums. You don't need a keyboard. What you need is your voice. Let his praise be heard. I need everybody to lift up your voice. Open your mouth and give him some praise like you know he is your God. Like like you know he is your healer like you know he is your deliverer I need everybody to give him glory come on clap your hands right where you are come on give him glory give him praise give him honor he is worthy of it he is worthy he is deserving of your praise oh he resides in the praises of Israel and I need everybody come on shake yourself and give him glory shake yourself and give him honor shake yourself and magnify his holy name I will bless him at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall make her boast in the Lord I come on I need you to start bragging on God right now I need you to start. Oh, I need you to start lifting up your voice and bragging on God right now. Come on, everybody in the sanctuary. Come on, brag on God right now. Brag on him. Tell him how lovely he is. Tell him how wonderful he is. Tell him how kind he is. Come on, brag on God. Boast on God. He's your God. He's your Lord. He's your Savior. He's your Redeemer. He's your healer healer. He's your way maker. He's your lawyer. He's your doctor. Brag on God and tell him how worthy he is. Tell him how valuable he is. Tell him how much you appreciate him. Brag on God. Come on. I need everybody around the world. Everybody on live stream. Everybody in the sanctuary. Come on. I need you to brag on him. Brag on him. Brag on him. Lift up your voice and brag on him. Tell him how great he is. Tell him of all the great things he have done for you. Come on, brag on him, brag on him. Come on, brag on him, brag on him. Just for a few more seconds, I need everybody to brag on your God. Brag on him, brag on him, brag on him. Boast in him. Don't be afraid. Boast in him. Don't be ashamed. Boast in him. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ, for it is power. Ah, we thank God for the power. We thank him for his love. We thank him for his grace. Mm. We glorify his holy name. Come on, y'all. Brag on your God. Brag on your God. Brag on your God. Come on, everybody. Brag on your God. Tell him how great he is. Brag on your God. Tell him how wonderful he is. Brag on your God. I said brag on him. I said brag on him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said brag on him. Live Lift up your voice. 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 Like a trumpet in Zion. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We glorify you. Lift up your voice. Act like you love him. Act like you adore him. Come on, I need you to lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up 
your voice. Ground, my God. Go magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Oh, lift them up, saints. Even on live stream, lift them up. Even in the sanctuary, lift them up. Right where you are, lift them up. Yee! Glory. Ah, lift him up and we glorify him. Ah, ah, and we magnify him. Uh, and we give him the praise. Uh, all glory belongs to him. Ah, uh, come on, lift them up, saints. Come on, lift them up, saints. Uh, come on, lift up your voice. Yeah. Isn't he worthy? <laughs> Isn't he worthy? Ah, uh, isn't he worthy? Isha. Oh, Shaka. Oh, right where you are, I need you to glorify him. I need you to magnify him. Come on, he's your God. He's your Lord. There is none beside him. And we give him glory. Ha! Hey! And we give him honor. Come on, no keyboards. Ah, no drums. No. Ah, come on, come on, come on. No organ. I just want to hear the praises of the people. Hey! We glorify you. Hey, we magnify you. Hey, oh yeah. I feel old school church. I know it's Bible study and we're going to have Bible study, but I feel an old school church, an old school breakthrough. Ah, come on. I need you to lift up your voice. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Ah, Lord. Come on, I need you to glorify him. Oh, I need you to glorify your God. Hallelujah. When I say hallelujah, everybody say hallelujah. We got to be on one accord. Hallelujah. Ishaka. Hey, ha, ha. oh, something is about to break tonight. I said, Hallelujah. Isha. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, I need you to clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands right where you are. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isha. Clap your hands, oh, ye people, and shout, shout with the voice of triumph. Come on, clap your hands, clap your hands. I feel Jesus in this place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I feel Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's about you and Jesus right now. I feel Jesus. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Woo! I shunned it at I feel the presence of God and we bless Him. Eh? And we glorify Him and we magnify Him and we honor His name. Ha! And we give him the glory. Ah, and we give him the honor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my God, I thank you. Oh, my God, I glorify you. Oh, we didn't come to ask for cars, clothes, and money. But we came to boast on you, oh God. Yee! Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we glorify you. And we magnify you. And we honor your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, lift up your voice one more time. And give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the praise. We glorify you. We magnify you. You. We honor you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you on tonight. Oh, my God. We thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. We thank you. 
Oh, glory. I said, oh, glory. I said, oh, glory. We thank you on tonight. We thank you. And we glorify your holy name. And we magnify your holy name. It's in you we live, move, and have our very being. Clap your hands one more time around the building. Come on around the room, clap your hands. And everybody in our cyber sanctuary, come on real quick, clap your hands. Ah, we thank him and we glorify him for he is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing like being in the presence of God. And there's nothing like prayer. Prayer changes things, saints. Did you hear what I said? I said prayer changes things. Prayer changes situations. And we thank God for the power of prayer. How many really thank God for the power of prayer on tonight? I said how many really thank God for the power of prayer on tonight? The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. We thank God for the righteous praying on tonight. <laughs> Clap your hands one more time, everybody. Everybody. Clap your hands and say, I thank God for the power of prayer. And we expect that something is going to shift. We expect that something is going to move. We expect that something is going to change. Not for the worse, but for the better. Because all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and to them who are called according to his purpose. We thank Thank God on tonight for the power of prayer. I said we thank God on tonight for the power of prayer. Mm. We glorify him. We glorify him. And I want to get into uh, our Bible study on tonight and do part two of why do we need the Holy Spirit. I want to do part two of why do we need the Holy Spirit. I need everybody to write down part two. Why do we need the Holy Spirit? And so the first point uh, that we came, uh, that we discussed last week is that the Holy Spirit adopts us. Somebody write that down. The Holy Spirit adopts us. And we want you in the sanctuary uh, to make sure that you're writing it down too. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the Holy Spirit adopts us. And we read Romans chapter 8 uh, verse 14 through 16. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Uh, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified with him. So we our family because we received the spirit of God and we have received oh my God the spirit of adoption so uh, that was point number one and point number two uh, we see that the spirit comforts us somebody write that down the Holy Spirit comforts us and we read John chapter 14 verse 15 through 17 it says if you love me keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he will give you another comforter comforter is paraclete one who is called alongside of us in other words uh, he is our advocate or our defender aren't you glad that you you have God as a defender. You have the Holy Spirit. You have Jesus as the defender who will stand up for you, who will show you and tell you uh, and stand up for you and defend on your behalf all the things that are needed. Uh, aren't you grateful? Aren't you glad? Uh, I thank God that he is our advocate. Then the Bible says that he may abide with you forever, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit 
spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but you know him that's what the Bible says you know him uh, you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you so the Holy Spirit dwells with you and shall be in you uh, so the Holy Spirit comforts our minds and consoles our hearts and uh, he heals our bodies and delivers us and convicts us uh, but he helps us as well and the Holy Spirit shall abide with you and be in you so that's number two and then number three number three is uh, is that the Holy Spirit and I want you to catch this the Holy Spirit directs our path somebody write that down the Holy Spirit directs our path in other words he we seen last week uh, with Peter James uh, with Peter Paul and Jesus uh, that the, that the Holy Spirit was leading them he told Peter not to go somewhere I believe he told him not to go somewhere uh, yes, yes, yes. He told him not to go somewhere, and Peter stayed where he was. And he told Paul to go somewhere, and Paul went with them. But then the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, led him into uh, the mountain, into the wilderness, into the wilderness. And so, uh, we see uh, that the Holy Spirit directs our path. So the Holy Spirit, you got to remember, he even led Jesus in the wilderness just to show us that the Holy Spirit is here to lead and to guide us where we are right now. Presently, the Holy Spirit is leading you and guiding you. He's directing your path. And we have to be sensitive to the ear of the Holy Spirit. We have to have a sensitive ear, that's what I meant, to the Holy Spirit. So that way when he says go, we go. When he says stop, we stop. When he says do, we do. And so therefore we got to understand that the Holy Spirit directs our path forth. The Holy Spirit teaches us. And remember in John chapter 14 verse 26 it says that the Holy Spirit will teach you. In other words it says, but the Comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you so the Holy Spirit is our instructor the Holy Spirit is our teacher the Holy Spirit trains us he equips us watch this and point number four the uh, point number five excuse me is the Holy Spirit changes us the Holy Spirit changes us. Somebody write that down. The Holy Spirit changes us. We're almost uh, through it right now. The Holy Spirit changes us. So how does he change us? In Galatians 5 and 22, he does not just change the outward appearance. He changed our inward man so that our inward man would line up with the characteristics of the Spirit. Did you get that? Our inward man will line up with the characteristics of the Spirit. What is the characteristics of the Spirit? The characteristics of the Spirit is here it is verse 22 Galatians 5 22 it says this but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law so we are to align ourselves when we are completely and totally changed we are to align ourselves with the characteristics of the Holy Spirit how do I know that I have the Holy Spirit is because I will produce the fruits of the the Holy Spirit. Did y'all catch that? You shall reproduce the fruits of the Holy Spirit. What are the fruits of the Holy Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, goodness, faith. Uh, against such there is uh, no law. So, in other words, uh, when we produce the fruits of the Spirit, we're not producing our own fruits. Uh, we are exemplifying the characteristics and displaying the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. So, it's important for you to know that when the Holy Spirit is operating in you, uh, you will produce the fruits uh, of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I need somebody uh, to write down in, in the sanctuary. I need you to open up your mouth and say, I will produce produce fruit. Come on, let's say that. I will produce fruit. I will produce fruit. And that's the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. It's the character of the Holy Spirit. 
And so uh, that was point uh, that was point number uh, five. So point number six, I believe. Uh, let's see. Point number six is uh, is that the Spirit gives us visions. Where do you get that from? Uh, the Spirit gives us visions. Uh, the Bible says in Acts chapter two, verse seventeen and eighteen, and it shall come up come to pass in the last days. Watch this. God said, "I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your." sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. So in other words, you got to remember that visions are a supernatural glimpse. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a glimpse of the supernatural uh, supernatural realm. Uh, did you get that? You are having a glimpse of the supernatural world. In other words, God gives you foresight. He allows you to see what you really can't see with your natural eye. He allows you to see in the spirit. So therefore, you may have visions that is given to you by God that you may be able to see. See, remember what I'm saying. You will be able to see. So God says, I'm going to pour my spirit upon you for you shall see visions. You shall have visions. Not only will you prophesy, not only will you dream dreams, but you shall have visions. And these visions are not of your own volition. These visions help you to see the supernatural realm of God. And therefore, when you see what God has given you, now you will work with God to, oh my God, to complete the vision. I need everybody to shout, I will complete the vision. Come on, let's shout it. I will complete the vision. So that's point number six. And then point number seven, we went over last week, that the Spirit equips us. Watch this, y'all. He equips us. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 through 11, it says this. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit do y'all see the theme right here to another the working of the miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but all these work at that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man several as he will so in other words, the gifts of God are given to equip us, to have us prepared for not our ministry, but for his ministry. Somebody shout his ministry. Uh, it's not about you, y'all. It's not about you. It's about God operating in you. And so therefore, watch this. We are able to complete and to do our job because he has prepared us and equipped us for supernatural ministry. Ah, did y'all get that? For supernatural ministry. And it's not a different spirit that has given each and every one of us uh, the gifts that we have. It's the same spirit. Everybody shout the same spirit. Mm. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. And it's important for us to understand that we don't have two or three or five different Holy Ghosts or Holy Spirits walking around here. We don't have that. We have one Holy Ghost, one Holy Spirit that is operating through each and every one of us. So the same spirit that helped you to prophesy is the same spirit that helps me. Oh, Oh my God, oh my God, uh, with 
diverse types of tongues. It's the same spirit that gives you the discerning of spirits. It's the same spirit that gives you the interpretation of tongues. It's the same spirit that gives you the word of wisdom. It's the same spirit that gives you the word of knowledge. Oh, it's the same spirit. I need everybody to shout, it's the same spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, it's the same spirit. Uh, so if any man comes to you and tries to preach another gospel, telling you that there are many types of spirits uh, uh, trying to, uh, oh my God, trying to compel you and, and force you to believe, uh, believe that there is a polytheistic spirit uh, going around here. The devil is the lie. The devil is the lie. I didn't say a lie. I said the devil is is the lie. He is the liar. And he will have you caught up to believe that we got 18,000 different spirits, uh, different holy spirits around here when the Bible says uh, it's the same spirit. Uh, there's one Holy Ghost. I need somebody to shout, one Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. So the same spirit that is operating in you is the same spirit that is operating in me. And he is the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's not a it. It's a he. He shall come and he shall comfort you. Ah, uh, my God. It's the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, and here it is. Uh, number eight, the Bible says, uh, uh, number eight, we reviewed uh, that it was uh, th that the spirit empowers us. Uh, somebody write down the spirit empowers us. Come on, y'all. The spirit empowers us. Uh, so in Acts chapter one, verse eight, it says, and you will receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power power after that the Holy Spirit or what we may say the Holy Ghost uh, may come may, uh, will come upon you so watch this everybody you shall receive the authority Authority of the Holy Spirit when he comes on you to move in the way he desires for you to move. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? You don't have the power of the Holy Spirit to move in your own power. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by his spirit. It's by his spirit that you are able to have the power of the Holy Spirit. And so therefore you shall receive the authority of the Holy Spirit. You shall receive the rights, the power of the Holy Spirit when he comes upon you to move and to do and to execute and to operate in the way that he needs you to for his ministry to be fulfilled through you. Did y'all hear what I said? The ministry of the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you is for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's for you to do his will under his auspices, under the power of the Holy Spirit. And he is operating through you. He is operating in you. He is with you. So the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout, I have the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody shout that. I have the power of the Holy Spirit. So that's why you can do what you do. That's why you can cast out devils. That's why you can speak with new tongues. That's why you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's why you can open up blind eyes. Yes, sir. That's why why you can operate in the Holy Spirit because you're under the auspices of the Holy Spirit and he's given you a legal right to do what you do oh my God and it's only through him that it is accomplished Woo! it's only through him 
that it is accomplished. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's only through the Holy Spirit uh, that things are accomplished. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? Things that he needs to be accomplished, it is accomplished. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, it needs to be accomplished. Uh, so if the Holy Spirit tells me to go over here and speak, speak uh, wisdom into this person. It's not my wisdom that is being spoken. It's the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. And that power and the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon me to give me the words to say to that individual so that things could be accomplished. So that the, oh my God, what the Holy Spirit wanted me to say will be said and nothing will be added to it because, watch this, I'm under the guidance of the Holy Spirit so I shall receive the power to do what I do oh my God in the Holy Ghost because he has commissioned me to do so and I walk and do it with power somebody shout power somebody shout power yeah power uh, so uh, number nine number nine uh, it says that uh, the ninth uh, thing uh, is that the Holy Spirit frees us. Hey, aren't you glad? Oh, my God. I feel the, sp the presence of God right there. The Holy Spirit frees us. Huh, somebody write that down. The Holy Spirit frees us. The Holy Spirit emancipates us. The Holy Spirit liberates us. Hey, hallelujah. The Bible says it like this. Now the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is the spirit. Ah, excuse me. The Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty y'all miss what i said i said where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom where the spirit of the lord is there is emancipation where the spirit of the lord is chains are broken where the spirit of the lord is yokes are destroyed that's in second corinthians 3 and 17 we have to understand that the spirit comes watch this y'all to remove anything that is obstructing whether in our past or in our present from us living a liberated life did y'all catch that did you catch that did you catch that the spirit doesn't want you to be bound the spirit wants you to be free because when you are free you are able to do oh my god <laughs> you are able to do his will I, 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 and freedom doesn't mean uh, that you are void or absent of commitment. Y'all miss what I said. Y'all miss what I said. Freedom doesn't mean uh, that you are uh, that you are destitute or you are absent of commitment or dedication or servanthood you still gotta serve god you still gotta serve and do his will but you're doing it in freedom did you hear what i said did you hear what i said did you hear what i said you're doing it with freedom in other words in other words god is saying that where i am i am moving all the hindrances out of the way so that you can focus on my will you missed it 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 can i tell you i want you to catch this i want y'all to catch this i want you to catch this Ah, this is good right here. This is good right here. I want you to catch this. Sin binds you, but the spirit frees you. God almighty, where's my church at? I said sin binds you, but the spirit frees you. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I said sin chains you, but the spirit it frees you. Y'all ain't talking. Where's my church at? Where's my church at? Y'all ain't talking back to me. Huh? Y'all ain't talking. Sin imprisons you. But, oh my God, the spirit 
praise you, oh my God, where you're at on tonight, uh, on this Wednesday night. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Anybody know that sin, it keeps you chained, it keeps you locked up, but here it is, the spirit comes to free you. Is there anybody in here that wants to be freed? I need you to open up your mouth and say, I am free, and I'm free because the spirit freed me. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Woo! I said, hallelujah. I feel the presence of the almighty God up in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, 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 hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I feel the presence of God. Mm, yes, sir. I'm free because the spirit freed me. And anybody that comes to tell me that I'm still bound, the devil is a liar. I'm not bound because I'm not walking in sin. I'm walking in the spirit. <laughs> I'm not bound any longer. Sin used to bind me, but now the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God freed me. That's why the Bible says, oh, it says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, then I say, then walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Ah, for the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. Mm. And these are contrary to one to the other, uh, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, uh, you are not under the law. Is there anybody in here grateful that you are living by the Spirit of God? You are walking by the Spirit of God. You are in the Spirit of God, and the Spirit has freed you. It has the oh my. My God broken every chain it has freed you it has delivered you it has rescued you I need you to open up your mouth and just look at somebody around you and say I'm free because of the spirit I'm free because of the spirit I'm free because of the spirit. Uh, uh, let me hasten to a close. We only have a few more minutes. Uh, uh, stick with me, y'all. Uh, so that was number nine. And number ten is, is that the spirit of God unifies us. Y'all missed it. The Holy Spirit unifies us. Uh, I need you to turn uh, real quick. I need you to turn real quick uh, to Second Corinthians, or First Corinthians. Uh, let's turn real quick, First Corinthians. Uh, are you learning something? Ah, uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and if you are learning something on live stream too, uh, I want you to open up your mouth and write it down and say, "I'm learning something. I'm learning something. I'm learning something." It's important uh, that we all learn something. It's important that we all learn something. Uh, and oh my God, uh, oh my God, I thank God for learning something. I thank God uh, for the enlightenment of his word. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so let's go here. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, let's go to verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12. Somebody write that down. Uh, and, and we're talking about the spirit of God uh, or the Holy Spirit unifying us. Uh, here it is. Uh, for as the body is one and hath many members. Y'all missed it already. It went right over your head. As as the body is what? One. Uh, let's say it again. As the body is one. Yes, sir. As the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized in one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles whether we be bond or free, whether, here it is, have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. But we only have one body. Did y'all get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? 
So the spirit of God keeps us unified in the spirit. Here it is. Here it is. It keeps us unified. Remember the Bible, the Bible says this. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. So the spirit, watch this, brings us together in unity. We are many members, but we have one body. Oh, y'all missed it. You missed it. You missed it. So everybody who, who names the name of Christ, we got to realize that we all have one body. I don't care what denomination you are, that's many members. I don't care how many organizations you belong to, that's many members. But we all have one body. And that one body keeps us unified as Christ has one body. I'm trying to tell you, even though there's many members, there's one body. And the spirit keeps us unified. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So all of us fighting against each other, we're fighting against our body. <laughs> Y'all not talking back to me. Y'all not talking back to me. Y'all not talking back to me. All of us talking about each other, we're talking about our body. <laughs> All of us being mad at each other, we're mad at our body. The body is one. Many members. But we're unified when we work together. Y'all ain't talking back to me. My right hand got to work with my left. My right eye got to work with my left eye. We all got to work together. So whatever my right eye don't see, my left eye does. Whatever my right hand can't handle, when we come together, my right and my, oh my God, my left hand will pick up the pieces and have us working together so that we can be unified in our attempts. It's the spirit that unifies us. Y'all not talking back to me. What happened? Y'all not talking back to me. Y'all not talking back to me. The spirit unifies us. He calls for our unification. The reason why some people won't believe in us is because we're not unified. Y'all not talking back to me. Y'all not talking back to me. The reason why some people ain't coming to Christ is because we always talking about each other. We're not unified. And the Spirit is trying to unify us. Hallelujah. 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 The spirit is unifying us. That's what we got to understand. We have to understand that the spirit comes to unify, not divide. The spirit comes to unify us, not divide us. The spirit doesn't come and say, you sit on your side and you sit on the, on the other side. We're not splitting the body down and saying, okay, well, you go this way and you in this side, the, the right side of my body go this way and the left side of my body go the opposite way. No, how is that? <laughs> We're all supposed to be one. So the Holy Spirit unifies us. Do you get the point? The Holy Spirit unifies us. I got two more points. Here it is. Uh, point number 11. The Holy Spirit sends us. Watch this. Let's go to Acts chapter 1. Watch this. This is good. Acts chapter 1. Acts Romans. Come on. Acts chapter 1. Right after John. Right before Romans. 
Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Watch what it says. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Watch this. Watch this. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So the Holy Spirit, watch this, commissions you to be a witness. Can, can, I, can I ask you a question? Because you got the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me ask you this. Are you a witness? Are you a witness for the Holy Spirit? Y'all 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 ain't talking back to me. Are you a witness for the Holy Spirit cuz the Bible says you shall be a witness. When the power of the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you're supposed to be a witness. You're supposed to witness. You miss what I said. You're supposed to be a witness. That, that's what the Holy Spirit is going to do upon you when you when the Holy Spirit comes upon you you're supposed to be a witness did, 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 did you get that did you get that on tonight you're supposed to be a witness so in other words watch this when you are a witness is saying that I'm sending you out to do my work did you catch that the Holy Spirit is sending you out to do the work, not just so you can display that you have power, not just so you can say, I got power, not so, so you can brag about having power, not just so you can talk in tongues and act like you got power. Are you being a witness? Are you being a witness? He sends you out to do the work of the ministry so you can be a witness of his power. Man, Woo. I hope somebody's receiving something on tonight. Come on. If you're receiving something, I, I want you to say I'm receiving something. I'm receiving something. I, 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 love, I love to teach uh, on, on, on this because it's, it's good. It's, it, 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 it's good, and it reminds me that I'm a witness. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have power just to have the power. I have the power of the Holy Spirit operating in me so that I, oh my God, so I can be a witness. I'm a witness, a testimony of his power. Here it is, number 12. This is the last one, and then we're going to close. Number 12, come on, stay with me, uh, Facebook as well. Stay with me. Don't, don't start leaving. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Let's not church hop. Come on. Here we go. Stick with me. <laughs> Here it is, number 12, the Spirit prays for us, P-R-A-Y, the Spirit prays for us. Here it is, where do you find that at? Let's go to Romans, y'all. One book over, let's go to Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, watch this. It says, likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Here it is. But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. You missed it. The Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Sometimes we don't even know what we should pray because of our situations. Our situations have clouded our minds. And then there's sometimes we can't even get the words out. So the Spirit maketh intercession for us. The, the, the Spirit prays for us. Or here it is, the Spirit make it intercession for us. Okay, let me, let me put it like this. The Spirit, here it is, I want you to catch this, I want you to catch this. The Spirit is praying through us. 
Did did, did y'all get that? Because sometimes we don't even know what to say. So the spirit helps our our infirmities or, or our weaknesses. The spirit helps, here it is, our frailties. He helps us. And that's why sometimes we pray in the spirit. Because the spirit is praying through us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ain't making up words. The spirit is, oh my God, the spirit is talking through us. He's making intercession for us. The spirit is praying for us. Hallelujah. We ain't out here just making up tongues and just speaking words out of our own knowledge. No, the spirit is praying for us. The spirit is making intercession for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With groanings that cannot be uttered. And so therefore, why do we need the Holy Spirit? Is because the Holy Spirit is critical in our lives and he operates through us so that we can complete the work of the Holy Spirit through us. So whatever the Holy Spirit needs us to do, we are available to do it. Lift up your hands, everybody in the building and around the world. Come on, lift up your hands, everybody. Everybody, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. And say, Lord, I'm available to you. Come on, say it again. Lord, I'm available to you. Say, Holy Spirit, use me. Come on, Holy Spirit. Use me in whatever way you need me to be used. Use me. Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say oh, my storage is empty and I am available to you. Keep your hands lifted. All around the room, keep your hands lifted. Oh, my storage is empty, and I am available to you. Hey, oh, oh, my storage is empty. And I am available to you. Hey, oh, mm, my storage is empty. And I am available to you. My storage is empty and I am available to you, yeah. Oh, hey, oh yeah. My storage is empty, yeah. And I am available 
the ball to you, yeah. Oh, hey, 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 oh. Hallelujah. My story is empty. And I am available to you. Now worship him, everybody. For about 10 seconds, I need you to worship him. Come on, lift up your voice and worship him. Lift up your voice and worship him. Come on, lift up your voice and worship him. Come on, we worship you. Almighty oh, God. We magnify your holy name. We give you honor. We give you glory. And we bless your holy name. Oh, we glorify your God. And we magnify your name. You are worthy. You are worthy, hallelujah, oh, you are worthy, ha, worthy to be praised, hallelujah, 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 we glorify you, we magnify you. We honor you, Jesus. You are worthy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we lift your holy name. And we magnify you. And we glorify you. And we honor your holy name. Clap your hands, everybody. Come on, clap your hands right where you are. Clap your hands and let's give him some glory. Hallelujah. Let's give him some praise for it all belongs unto him. Everybody, if you can do me a favor, if you can do me a favor and just lift up your voice one more time and say, God, I thank you. Come on, everybody say it. God, I thank you. God, I glorify you. God, I magnify you. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Come on, let's give at this time. Let's give, uh, let's give our seed offering uh, at this time. We thank God uh, for everything that he has done and continues to do. Thank you for joining us uh, on tonight. Thank you for joining us in the sanctuary and those uh, who are on live stream. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let us get our seed offerings together. We thank God for everybody that is giving that's about to give right now. We thank God for you and we praise God uh, for you. Uh, we believe that God is doing some amazing things, and he's going to continue to do some amazing things. He's going to continue to open up doors. I believe that our third floor is going to be fixed, and God is going to do the miraculous. I believe, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you for giving me, y'all. I just felt the quickening. Hallelujah, I felt God. And I believe that he's going to do uh, some amazing things in our church. And I believe that members are going to be coming from the north, south, east, and west. And God is going to be doing some magnificent things. They're going to come from the north, south, east, and west to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and to be a part of building the kingdom, of building the kingdom. And we are thanking God for it. And we are glorifying God for it. And so I need each and every one of you, if you can, if you can get a $25 seed, if you can get a $25 seed on this Wednesday night, on this Wednesday night, and I want you to sow into the ministry. I want you to sow into the ministry, for you are sowing into good ground. 
you are sowing into good ground and I am declaring over your life I am declaring over your life that you shall reap the harvest of what you've sown hallelujah and it may not just come in finances y'all y'all got to stop limiting God maybe God wants to give you a new opportunity hallelujah maybe God is going to open up a new door for you maybe God got a new apartment oh, oh my God maybe God got a new car for you uh, maybe God is going to give you a fresh anointing maybe God is going to oh my God have you go up another level another dimension in him uh, hallelujah maybe God is going to reconcile relationships uh, it's not just about finances y'all it's about what God can do and will do what God can do and will do we are declaring over your life right now that God will do it hallelujah somebody write down God will do it God will do it somebody shout in here God will do it God will do it and it shall be done in the name of Jesus it shall be done uh, so we're asking everybody on tonight to give a $25 seed a $25 seed into good ground and I want you to I want you to name the seed that you are giving on tonight. I want you to name the seed that you are giving on tonight. Whatever that seed is that you are asking God to do, whatever it is, if it's healing, if it's deliverance, if it's him making a way uh, for you, if it's him opening up doors, whatever that seed is, let's believe God and let's declare that in good ground we shall see the fruit. Oh, my God, we shall see the fruit of what we planted so I thank each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for your liberal giving. Thank you for your liberal giving. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we glorify you for everyone that is giving on tonight and everyone that has a mind to give. We pray right now, God, that you would do something miraculous. We pray right now, God, that you would do something amazing in their lives. We glorify you and magnify you and we thank you all oh, for this day. We thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Let us all give at this time. Let us all give at this time. And on this Sunday, this Sunday is our Cafe Sunday, our Cafe Sunday. And you do not have to register. You do not need an invitation. You do not need a flyer to come. The church is open. So come on in, y'all. The only thing we're doing right now is taking your temperature. So I need each and every person that will come. Uh, you shall come and shall not tarry. Stop tarrying and come on in. <laughs> come on in. Uh, we start at 9.15. Uh, we start at 9.15 is our corporate prayer and praise and worship. And then at 9.30 is our preach word. But on this Sunday is our Cafe Sunday. And on our Cafe Sunday, we have transformed the sanctuary. And we have tables out here. And I'm going to give you a nice, small, little continental breakfast. A little continental breakfast. Something, some fruit or some bagels and, and a, a cup of water or something. Uh, but at that time we're having a continental breakfast as well as me feeding you the word of God we're feeding you the word of God and so as God uh, fed the 5,000 with two fish and five loaves told them to sit down uh, and he broke it blessed it and, and and distributed unto the people I'm going to do the same thing I am going to feed you so that you can hear uh, the word of God not only feed you spiritually but feed you physically just to get you started and hold you over until you walk out of here and have your lunch or have your brunch so to speak and so we're doing a little something a little something different on this Sunday July 4th which is our cafe Sunday our cafe Sunday and I need each and every one of you to come uh, bring your neighbor bring your friend bring your uh, your buddies bring your sister bring your brother bring your cousins bring your your children bring everybody bring baby and them drag them to church say we going to church today we going to church today and we gonna have some fun we gonna eat and be fed by the word of God. Eat and be fed uh, with the word of God.
And so this Sunday uh, is Cafe Sunday, so I need each and every one of you to come. Come on out. Let's fellowship together. I love each and every one of you. Thank you, everybody who has joined us on live stream. Thank you for your liberal giving. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for connecting to this ministry. Thank you for trusting in me as your pastor. I love you so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. Uh, and, and, and before we leave, everybody shout, success is on me. Come on, let's write that down and let's shout it in here. Success is on me. Success is on me. I love y'all so much. I love you. Know that I do. I love you with all of my heart. And uh, I am believing God for you. And remember, we're, sti we're still praying. We're still praying for new life, new beginnings, and uh, new increase, new streams of income, new life, new beginnings, new streams of income, and new members. New life, new beginnings, new streams of income, and new members. New life, new beginnings, new streams of incomes, and new members. I love each and every one of y'all. Uh, those who are on live stream, press those hearts, press those thumbs up. Everybody in the sanctuary lift up your hands lord i thank you i bless you for all things i thank you for who you are i thank you for blessing us on tonight to hear your word lord i pray that the, uh, that your word was good ground and that it will it will fructify, it will multiply, and we will walk out of here with power, with the power of your word. We thank you and we bless you for all things. I love you so much. And God, I thank you for everything that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. As we leave this place, but never from the presence of God, God, guide us, protect us until we meet again on Sunday. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. I love each and every one of you. Know that I do. I love each and every one of you. Pray for your pastor. Pray that God will continue to bless me. Pray that God will continue uh, to open up doors for me. Pray that God will continue to ease my mind about the church and everything else. Uh, pray that God will just continue to pour out his blessings upon each and every one of us. I love you so much. And as you pray for me, know that I am praying for you. I love you so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. You can leave out of this door. Everybody have a wonderful night. I'll see you on Sunday for Cafe Sunday. And everybody Everybody on live stream, I love you so much. I love you so much. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your giving and continue to connect with us. I love you and I'll see you on Sunday. Come on, y'all. Y'all make your way to Life Restoration Church, 136 First Street in Newburgh, New York. Life Restoration Church, 136 First Street in Newburgh, New York. And y'all come worship with us. Come worship with us. I love you so much. And come this Sunday for Cafe Sunday. I love y'all. Everybody, be blessed. Love y'all.